Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Small businesses, they are facing a big struggle right now. Meat Crafters is a newer DMV based company and they were just starting to turn a corner profit wise when the coronavirus hit. Well, how did the owners respond? They actually turned their focus outward. Mitch, thank you for joining us here on Great Day Washington. Well, thank you very much for having us. We really appreciate the opportunity. I love when you were first telling me about Meat Crafters. You talk about it being three senior citizens who put this together. Come on. Is that really what the business is? <laughs> Not only is that the case, if you do the math, combined, the three founding partners are 211 years old. Wow. Wow. That's great. And then to also hear the other part that you had just gotten to a place where you were actually making a profit with this passion uh, project. Well, that hurts. We were just about to turn the corner. Yeah. We had taken, we had dipped into our retirement funds. Um, by the way, we are a complete failure at retirement, that is. Yes. And, um, so we dipped into our retirement funds. Um, Deborah suggested that uh, I get together with Stan Fader. Um, our other partner, he was like the king of sausages, making sausages for Jose Andreas and say, why don't you go to, you know, Stan, you always wanted to make salamis hmm. and which is a very interesting process. We're the only people actually that have a USDA, USDA license to make salamis in the entire DMV. So, uh, hmm. went to Stan and said, Stan, you want to make salamis? He said, I always wanted to make salamis. But he uh, didn't have the capital at the time, and I had just sold my interest in the distribution business, and that was it. We shook hands. The three of us became partners, and uh, we were just like you said, um, built a brand new USDA plant. We were about to turn a corner. We had some very wonderful accounts all over town. Jose Andreas, the In It Little Washington was our first wholesale restaurant account. And then, you know, it was just awful what happened to the entire restaurant industry. And despite that story and hearing what you're going through right now, you've actually turned this all around and now you're giving back right away. Why was that so important to you? Well, first of all, um, without sounding corny, giving back is just a, a family value mm -hmm. that I'm blessed to have from growing up. It didn't happen because of this crisis. We stepped up at the plate more, but uh, it's just been always part of our DNA. It was discussed at our dinner table, my wife, myself, entire family. Um, that's just what we do. I know you were donating $25,000 to Mana Food Center, right? And you were asking people to match that donation? Yes, we are. We were donating it regardless of whether it's matched or not. I suspect it'll be more than matched. Good. So that's what counts. Wow. And for you to see the community coming together like this, even when personal businesses are hurting, but people like you, I mean, this story, we're seeing a lot, which is so uplifting for this time. Well, um, thank you. But again, I feel it's our obligation. If, I mean, how could we let people be hungry in our midst? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, I couldn't look myself in the mirror and I think all well, the rest of our really good citizens, um, you know, have the same thing. And also a big thing for us is, you know, we could retire. I told you previously we're a failure, but <laughs> we have eight people that work and meet crafters mm -hmm. and we want to keep them employed. They have families. They're just starting out. We're like a family there. We have zero turnover. So it's critical that we keep the lights on there. And like so many businesses, Meat Crafters has now pivoted to selling its product online. They actually just launched a new website. That website is meatcrafters.com.